2019, the year of election. In this year, we have the first election that combines legislative and presidential election. It will be held on April 17, 2019. Right now, millennials, Z generation, and teenagers play a big role in this country development. And with the existence of hoax that can affect people's opinion, people's perception, and people's outlook to each election candidate, we want to observe how those topics influence each other. We used questionnaires with 14 questions in it. Offline questionnaires were distributed to senior high schools in Yogyakarta, and online questionnaires were distributed on social media. And based on the result, we have 177 people from different parts of Indonesia with age of 17 to 24 years old responding to our questionnaires. A lot of hoaxes about things related to the election have been spread, mostly on the internet. So, we ask them about what they did when they see information or news that they think is a hoax. Some assume that hoaxes are things spread in society without the validity of the data, with the intention to bring other parties down. Because hoaxes usually have provocative title, though most of them prefer to check information to ensure the truth. Saya ingin mengedukasi masyarakat. Saya tidak ingin ikut campur dan terlibat dalam penyebaran berita yang tidak pasti. Presidential election in Indonesia is held once every five years. People who can vote are people who are 17 or older and have Indonesia identity card. In order to choose a president, we must have criteria and considerations. We gave them five options. 46% chose performance, 32% chose vision and mission, 8% chose educational background, 7% chose family background, and 2% has other answers. And according to the data, the number of people whose relationship were affected by elections are relatively lower than the people who were not affected by it. See, it turns out that millennials hoax and election have a strong influence, like how it can break relationship with families and friends, or maybe even strengthen it. We are Indonesia, we are the future. We must have the courage to speak out, be wiser in responding to things, be more aware on receiving information. Don't let simple things break us down, we are one.